Well, hello, welcome. This one is called the Duke. We got the tin roof. Now I'm not sure if I can even show you or not, but yeah, this one has, if I can come back here, yeah. Trust me, it's got tin roof. So we got the tin roof. We got 2,280 square feet of space inside. Got this really nice gray siding on here. This is the, like the smart board siding, they call it. Like the white trim around the outside. Now this one has th four bedrooms, two bathrooms, living room, um, den. <laughs> I kept wanting to say dining room. It's got a den. You got a fireplace. You got a separate tub, you got a separate shower in your master bathroom. I mean, this home's got it all. You got a pantry. <laughs> yeah, this one I think checks them all. Of course it would have to, it's named after the Duke, right? Who doesn't know the Duke? I mean, the Duke had it all, right? So you, this home would have to have it all. The only carpet in this home is going to be in the bedrooms. Outside of that, it's all LVP flooring. So we're gonna have to go inside and you guys are gonna have to check it out for yourselves. So now I did a home not too long ago that had an all wood wall like this, except it kind of extended out to where the dining room was. A lot of you commented you would rather see it cut off before it gets to the dining room so everything's a little more centered. Well, they did that in this one. Even give you a little pony wall to separate out your living room from your dining room. And yes, I did ask him about it while he was showing me the home. You can straight up with the wall right there and take off that little bit of wood at the end. So that way the whole wall is centered basically. But it looks really, really good. <laughs> but now that we're done focusing on that, this is going to be like your entertainment room or family room type deal. Because y'all are going to want to hang out where that fireplace is. So this would be more of a gathering, I guess. You know, like all the family comes over for, for the holidays, that kind of stuff. You sit here, you do the BSing or whatever. Then you come eat your dinner in your dining room. Now there's a lot of space in this dining room. This table doesn't even begin to fill the dining room. I mean, you've got... <laughs> a lot of space so you could put you know two wide here as far as you know two people wide there you could go at least one more person wide here so at least an eight-man table will fit in here probably a ten-man table and then we got the archway over here but we're before we get to the kitchen I'm just gonna get this out of the way now. Cause after you get done eating, you're gonna wanna come over here anyway and sit down and relax, watch the football game. Of course, there's no TV right there, but you're gonna wanna watch the football game, right? Or, seeing how Sundays are NASCAR days, you're gonna wanna sit down and watch the NASCAR race. 
Yep, I'm teasing you with the fireplace. <laughs> we got this really nice, and I've seen this in quite a few of their homes here, this tray ceiling with the wood beams and then the, the wood. So that's actually flooring that they've put over the top there. So real similar to the stuff they used here, except they put it in the ceiling, give it that really nice accent, really looks good. And here is your sliding glass door. And now that I've teased you enough with that fireplace over here, we've got the stone hearth, real wood burning fireplace. And then a little wooden mantle up above it. Now it doesn't stick out very far. So you're definitely going to have to mount that TV there. And I like these little recessed areas. Perfect for putting some cabinets in or some shelving. That way you can put like all your entertainment stuff. Your DVD player, CD player if you still have one. Your Xbox, your PlayStation, your receivers. You know that kind of stuff. And then over here would be like where you'd put like some of your knickknacks and things you really want to put on display. But now we got to get this kitchen because this is where all the all the prep work is going to have to take place. So this is your chef's kitchen. <laughs> You've got the great big island you got the tin accent down below. We've got our coffee bar right here next to our fridge. We've got our dishwasher. Now these are all the uh, Whirlpool stainless steel brand. But you've got this nice long counter right here. Big farmhouse sink. Plenty of prep space to be working with. And then we've got the stove here. And lots of space in between your stove and your island with our pots and pans drawers right there. So you're doing all your prep work right here, chopping away, doing whatever else you got to do for your prep work. And then you can just come right back over here and throw it on the stove. And your microwave is right next to you. And look at that vent hood. Now I've got this really nice tile right here above our stove all the way around in the kitchen. And I believe they used that same tile in the master shower. Now I don't see a lazy Susan in this one, but look at all the drawers you got. And then we've got Plenty of cabinet space down below also. So might as well show you one of the pot and pan drawers. So you chefs out there or people that do a lot of the family cooking, you know, the big get togethers. How does this kitchen flow for you? Let me know in the comments down below. And before we go that way, we're going to come this way. we got to check out the laundry room slash utility room. I say utility room because this has everything in it. We've got our sink with some cabinets down below. Our back door is right there. We've got our, our uh, locker space for our coats and our backpacks and our shoes, things like that. Drop off, I guess is what they call that. You're getting that same backsplash above your sink. We've got our washer and dryer side by sides. Cabinets up above. Water heater in the closet. Well, in its own closet, not in the closet. <laughs> you know what I mean. We've got our access panel to the or access door to the heating and air conditioning unit. And then, how big a freezer do you want to stick in there? 
Now you can put a large freezer or even a small chest freezer. And if you turn it this way, you can put a big chest freezer. So you've got a lot of space there for freezer. And now we'll just kind of stand back and take a look at how big this room is. And then we're going to come down to the other end. And all your kids' rooms are on this end. Now, I did tell me if you wanted to, he's, they sold this home just not too long ago. Somebody put a barn door right here so that they could close off this space. So it's kind of closed off during the day. Or if the kids want to just come out here and be as loud as they want, they can close that off. That's a good size closet. A little bit bigger than average. And I think that is the only one though, down here that is not a walk-in closet. But in our bathroom here, we've got uh, your cabinets right here. I thought I had the lights on. There we go, now we can see it a little bit better. So just the standard sink in here. Hello, Raiden. <laughs> so all right, we've got our big one piece shower tub combo. Nice transom window up above you. It's a pretty darn good sized room in here. So this one has the walk-in closet. And in our other bedroom, also, this is the larger of the three bedrooms, if I remember correctly. And this one has an even bigger walk-in closet. So I guess if you got three kids, you got the older kid, the middle kid, and then over there you got the younger kid. And now we got to go to the adult kids area. And that is down at this end of the home. And it is not directly off of your living room. It's not directly off your kitchen, your dining room. You actually have a little bit of a hallway you have to go down and make a left to come into this really spacious master bedroom. Of course, you've got your ceiling fan up there, and I haven't pointed out that all your vents are in the ceiling. And in our bathroom. So we've got our cabinets over here. Big, long counter over here with a stack of drawers at the end. Now, I think you could probably option this in as a makeup area type deal and get your mirror 
all the way across to the other one so that you got a mirror to sit in front of. Maybe even add yourself a third light right in the middle. And in our tub. Now this isn't one of the larger tubs, but it is a nice deep soaker tub. So you can definitely submerge your whole body in that thing. And then there's our water closet. And behind your water closet, you've got this nice built-in cubby area. And then your closet is to the back. Now let's check out that shower. Well, see, you got the same tile in the shower as what you've got above your, your kitchen counters there and above your stove. Single rain head shower. This one's a little bit lower than some of the others. I mean, I still got plenty of space underneath it, and I'm 5'11", so I know you can option in, you know, I've seen them up quite a bit higher, so I'm sure you can probably option that in higher if you needed to. And in order to make this video perform higher than any of the others, I'm going to need you to go down there and leave me a comment down below. What did you think of the home? What did you like? <clears throat> what kind of changes do you think would be some good upgrades to the home? Especially this here. I really love this ceiling they do in here. And I'm not even sure I pointed out in the island it actually drops down instead of going up. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of the home. While you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Hit the notifications. All that kind of stuff helps these videos perform better. Helps me bring better videos to you. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. You have a good night. All right, so now we got to get into some price information on this home. So this one was filmed at Pratt Homes in Tyler, Texas. Now this was filmed in January of 2023. I know we're already into June, right? <laughs> Boy, how time flies. But anyway, so price and the information on this one, like I said, was January of 2023. This is a manufactured home. So it's obviously it's gonna be a little bit cheaper than getting it as a modular. Prices may vary depending on where you have this home set up and delivered, keeping all that kind of stuff in mind. Cause you could have extra freight charges, extra delivery fees, city county fees things like that so with that we got to go ahead and get you some pricing so this is going to be uh, between seventy dollars a square foot and a hundred dollars a square foot as pratt homes you know every one of their homes is different so they don't want to be locked into any kind of price or anything so they give me a range of you know low to high type stuff so uh with that said hope you all enjoyed the video and uh I'll be uh, heading out next week, fly out on Sunday. I'll be down in Oklahoma filming. So you'll start seeing some videos here shortly from there while I finish up the videos that I got from Billings and Texas. So here shortly, y'all will be getting videos from three different locations and then maybe even a fourth one down the road. We'll see what happens. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.